Hey everybody, how's it going? Extreme Trends here. Walmart is a multinational corporation with the best deals we can find. Whenever we need something at an excellent price, it's no surprise that we often turn to Walmart to get the things we need. But there are some things a cheap superstore doesn't want you to know about how it does things. So today we're going to be taking a look at 10 things Walmart doesn't want you to know. Number 10, free samples. How often have you had this happen to you? You're cruising down the local superstore, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden you hear a voice asking you if you would like to try a free sample or some new food product that they just released and the temptation overflows you. You think to yourself, what could go wrong? They're losing money if I take the sample. If it has happened to you before, we're sorry to say that you're actually wrong. One researcher in particular says that taking this sample actually convinces your brain that it's dinner time and that you should indulge in this new and tasty product resulting in you purchasing the treat. How can this situation be avoided? The best thing to do sometime is to just say no the next time someone offers you a free sample. Companies lose more money if you don't take the sample than when you do accept it. Number nine, inflated prices. Now, who doesn't like a good sale? We often find ourselves clamoring to find the next big bargain, whether it be on clothes or in gadgets. But what if I told you the sale is actually a lie? Research has shown that most superstores such as Walmart and JCPenney have been known to sell their products at retail prices while slapping a sales sticker on them, making us believe that we are saving money when in reality, we are just paying the same amount of money that we usually would for the same product at a another store. Researchers have also found that this technique in marketing is very widespread and common and is done in a number of large outlets for the sheer purpose of making more money. The only way we can avoid being ripped off like this is if we look at the prices of the products through the manufacturer's website or get a rough idea on what the retail price was beforehand. This trick got so out of hand that there was a case filed against JCPenney for this exact reason. Number eight, firing workers illegally. Whenever we think of Walmart, we are always reminded that they care about our needs and of the low prices. But we never seem to think about the employees at Walmart and how much they are being paid. Well, keeping the prices low has a cost, especially to the workers who are fired without proper reasoning and often for speaking out against the low wages that they receive while on the job. In 2014, the National Labor Relations Board charged Walmart with illegally firing 19 workers who railed for better working conditions. In a separate case, federal officials claimed that Walmart illegally fired, disciplined, and threatened more than 60 employees in 14 states for participating in protests against the company. The shocking part is that Walmart claims that all of it was legal and justified. It really makes you wonder if Walmart really does care about our needs. Number seven, strategic placement. When we visit Walmart, we might think of the shelf layout in the store to be half assed and completely random, but that's actually not the case. Each shelf in any aisle has its purpose. The top shelf consists of smaller brands, regional brands, and gourmet brands. This is to give tone and texture to the shelf layout and help the supermarket stand out from their competitors. The two shelves below the top are often known as the bullseye zone and consists of best selling and top brands so that the product come directly within a customer's line of sight, making the customer more susceptible to purchase whatever is on these shelves. Below that, we have the kids eye level shelves. These are the shelves that consist of child appealing products, making it so that kids would want to buy them. And finally, the bottom shelf consists of local brands and bulk items. It just goes to show that some simple things have a meaning behind them. Walmart implemented this strategy just so they could sell more products to their customers. Number six, supersized carts. How often have you gone into a supermarket like Walmart and done your shopping for the day only to look down and think you haven't quite bought enough? Well, it's a natural feeling as research shows that these superstores usually keep oversized carts in their store to trick you into thinking you haven't bought enough from their store. In fact, research has shown that people spend up to 37% more just because of the size of the carts they're lugging around the store. Not only that, but there is also psychology that comes into play 
play when stores use these smaller carts. When we come across these mini sized carts, we often subconsciously think to ourselves that the store is very kid friendly and that they care, when in reality it's not as it appears. Studies have shown that shopping with a child will often result into spending of up to 30% more than what was initially intended. However, these may be, there is a simple solution to this. Using the smaller cart while shopping can save you from the confusion of have I bought too little and will help you assure that you purchase exactly what you need and the amount you need. Number 5, Nostalgic Music. All the latest superstores play music while we browse. Sometimes they play the latest pop songs and sometimes they play the classicals they know will make us feel good. Music that will make us long for the simpler times and will make you spend more money. Yes, you heard that right. Nostalgic music played in superstores actually makes you want to spend more money. 17% more to be exact. This is actually a very common market ploy and they play different music for each department within the store. For example, the butcher shop might play the sound of a sizzling steak and the soft drink aisle will play the sound of a drink fizzing just to get you to purchase the product. All is not lost however as there is a way to avoid giving into the power of their music bring your own. This might sound silly, but listening to your own music in the store while shopping actually speeds up the shopping process for you and can save you quite a lot of money in the long run because you won't fall prey to their marketing tactics. Number 4, Shopping Speed Bumps Sometimes shopping can be a rush job, or it can be something you enjoy doing slowly. If you're in a rush, however, most superstores, including Walmart, have something in store for you. Most markets like these study our habits when we browse the store, and then design their interior layout accordingly, and this is where the indoor speed bumps come in action. These little speed bumps exist within certain hours of the store in order to keep the shopper looking around. Studies have shown that these bumps cause up to 50 seconds of delay in the shopping habits of a customer which the person then spends looking around the area which makes them more susceptible to impulse buying even if they didn't need the item. This is a sneaky trick employed by most of the superstores but there is a solution so that we don't fall into the trap. If you stay alert and aware of these indoor speed bumps you may be able to maneuver around them and as a result keep yourself from making purchases you don't actually need. Number three, grew and transfer. Now, this is a concept that is somewhat unique. Basically, what it means is that all superstores are specifically designed to make you want to buy more of their products. It's a trick used by architects of the stores and it has proven most effective. One of these techniques is that they keep the essential products for purchase near the entrance. A study has shown that people who found their items quicker and were able to purchase the product and leave have a higher chance to return to the store regularly. Another instance is the inclusion of a a confectionery stand near the checkout register in the stores. These shelves are usually filled with food we associate with a treat or a reward for completing a task that took some effort. These sweet items are placed here to trick us into thinking we need a reward for purchasing our groceries and making us pick up extra chocolate and gum for the ride home. These are just a few out of many tactics used by Walmart that you should look into avoiding the next time you're out shopping. Number two, product displacement. Now, we're all mostly familiar with product placement. This is when a product is shown in the forefront of a movie or TV show. More often than not, some companies have been known to fund full episodes of TV shows to fill them with their product. But a new form of marketing has surfaced and these stores and most big companies know about it. Product displacement is when a product is placed in your mind that is similar to another product. For example, if someone saw a knockoff Pepsi bottle in the store and that person thought about the product and arrived at the conclusion that that product was based on Pepsi, then the person will be more inclined to buy more Pepsi. Well, Walmart knows this and they have even took this to a whole new level when they partnered with Procter & Gamble in 2010 to produce Secrets on the Mountains and even the Jensen Project with parodies of their product so that people would be more inclined to purchase them and with the increase in marketing influence in the market, it's not surprising that this is effective for selling more products. 
And finally, coming in at number one, we have Sell By Date. More than once, we've come home with a carton of milk to drink, and after a few days, we find that the milk that we bought is actually expired, and we now don't have any milk to drink. Well, it's been no accident. As it turns out, the stores actually know that this happens to you, and what's worse is that they actually do it to you on purpose. Most of the supermarkets will keep all of the products that are near to their expiry date at the front of the shelves, so that when people are shopping, they will pick them up and purchase them. Now, now, an argument could be made that the products are placed there this way so the products can be sold in order to reduce the clutter in their inventory, but a study has been shown that when purchasing goods, customers don't check the expiry date of the product when they're purchasing the food, so they end up coming back next week to purchase the product again. There is a way of avoiding this though, and it's pretty simple to do. All you've got to do is purchase the products that are further back on the shelves so you get the products that have the longest expiry date. So that has been the top 10 secrets Walmart don't want you to know. If you did enjoy the video or found it interesting, then why not go check out one of my other videos by clicking a video on screen now. Before you do that though, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single upload. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video.